G'day everyone, how are you going? I uh, wanted to talk to you today about this amazing tripod that I took from, for the whole trip of the USA with me. Uh, and I wanted to talk about some of the advantages and why I wanted to take it with me uh, over the whole four weeks. And, and the main reason why I wanted to take it was due to its size. Uh, now I was limited in um, my baggage allowance of how much I could take with me on the trip. Uh, and so to have a tripod that uh, could sort of fold down to so small and, and be so narrow in the bag was amazing. It also meant that I could fit it into my travel bag really, really easily. So that was one of the main advantages of it. The other thing too was I really wanted to see what the hype was about about this tripod to give it a go and try it over an extended period of time uh, in multiple scenarios like doing video and also doing stills, HDR images and multiple different things. So uh, I gave it a really good workout over the whole four weeks uh, and I'm really quite happy with how it works. So let's look at the overall um, specifications now for this tripod. So the tripod itself is made from carbon fiber and it's really quite light. And uh, the thing I love about carbon fiber particularly is if you are dealing with uh, cold uh, environments, well then it's a lot easier to hold than say if it's something like aluminium or something like that which can get really, really cold. Uh, and even though this is a decent sized tripod, uh, it, it limits the weight due to the fact that it is made of carbon fiber. The maximum weight that this tripod can take is nine kilos or two pounds, which really is quite good for a tripod of this size. When this tripod's extended, it does actually go to 152.4 or 60 inches uh, in size. So that's uh, really quite high uh, considering how small this tripod actually is. When it's in its closed position, the size itself is 39.4 centimeters and it's 15.5 inches. So that gives you the size that it is in that in, in the closed up position. It also comes with a nice carry bag as well. So it, you know, you can just put it inside and protect the tripod as well, which is quite nice uh, as well. And it has this nice little handle that comes on it too. So what are the main advantages with this tripod? Well, there's a couple of really big things is the way that it opens. I mean, you can literally just open up these legs. Now, it's very, very easy to open these legs up. Uh, like the Mi Photo, I've also got, you have to sort of twist the legs and then pull them down. So let's look how quickly we can open this up. Now, I mean, I'm not gonna go ridiculous. I'd just do it like I would in normal life, but all I usually do is just open up each thing and then you make sure that you undo each of these latches and then it will just open up like that and then you can just close these off to get it correct. Uh, you can do all of them all at the one time if you want to. Uh, I just like to do it this way, but like I said, I've, I've never found anything that works uh, as simply and as quickly as what this is. Uh, it's just amazing uh, and I just love it. And then if you want to close it up, all you do is just open up each latch and then literally put your hand underneath like that and then close it back up and then just lock the whole lot in one go. So it's super, super fast. And like I said, I haven't seen anything that works as well as what this uh, actually works. So this gives you an idea of the height uh, that this will go. And then you've obviously got some play that you can open this up and then bring this up to the, the top too. So you're looking at um, the height there uh, is, is quite good. It's, it certainly is good enough for me. Um, but like I said, if you're lifting this completely up, you have got the chance that there may be vibrations that could come through it. Uh, so, you know, you probably are better off to sort of work within this range uh, sort of around here, you'll get a lot more stability that's coming through um, the tripod. So let's talk about a couple of the features of this. Now the plate itself is on another camera, so I'll have to show you how the system works in a minute. So this is the head attachment that you can see here. Um, like I said, it will just, if I, I pull down this latch, you can then take that straight out, as you can see here. It, it has got the Allen key that you can tighten that onto the camera. And then to just put it back in, all you do is just go like that. And then you turn this little front handle where it shows this lock here, just turn that to where it shows lock and then that will be locked in and won't come out. That handle no longer works. There's a little wheel on the side here that can let you take it, the center column up and down. The minimum that you can also open this as well, just by clicking these in and opening the legs up, and I'll show this down a little bit later, is uh, 14 centimeters and it's 15.5 inches as well. 
Now there also is a special low mode on this though that does eliminate this center shaft completely if you want to go that way, which would give you much more stability. Uh, but I found I didn't use it because I just wanted to keep it uh, as it is. But I'll show you how that works. Uh, but also I'll show you these while I'm there. Uh, this is a weight that you've got here that you can, uh, it's a hook that you can just hold something like a sandbag on or something like that if you wanted to make sure that the tripod is very steady and if it's a little bit windy. That does come off. So you just tilt it off like that. Now this is a phone holder and I'll show you that being used a little bit later on. So I'll just put those on the ground for the moment and then I'll show you how we take this uh, shaft out. So then all you do is you unscrew this shaft, that comes out, then you just tilt this and you just use a, a little screwdriver, I think it's a hex screw or something like that, you use that on the side there to undo a bolt that goes through the head itself and then this will completely come out and basically then it will sit dead flat on the bottom like that. So there is a low mode as well. There is also this little tool that's on the side of the leg here as well. That's how you can tighten on uh, the plate that goes on the top through here. So let's look at how this functions. Uh, it's, it's really quite simple. There's just a, a little wheel that you can do here that can manipulate or move up and down the center column. Uh, and then you can tighten that down. There's little levers on the legs that if you press down, the legs can then fold out. Uh, the center part to this is great, or, or the actual head attachment here is really nice. Um, there's only two little controls on it. There's just one small control here that locks the plate in. You can see at the moment I can pull the plate down. If I lock that around, the, the plate will no longer move. So that locks the plate in, which is an Arca Swiss type plate that comes with it. Uh, this second uh, control at the bottom here lets you, if I move this up a little bit, the second control lets you uh, manipulate the, the level on here. Now you'll see there is a level on here, but if I take this off, I can then move this head all around to get it level and then lock that plate back down by moving that. So that's how you get your level. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the camera on. So I'll unlock the top and you just do that by clicking that lever and then I can take this out. Now you just use the tool. That's the only thing I suppose you need the tool to put this on. Um, but because that's sort of carried now with that tripod, it's not really that much of, of an issue really. Uh, and all we'll do is we'll just stick this so it sits onto the um, camera. So I'm gonna tighten this in, as you see, and then you just literally move that around so it's sort of sitting in the center. I'm gonna try and get it as square as possible. I just like it to be all square. And then the good part with this though is I found the ones that you do up by hand can tend to move, uh, whereas this will be rock solid. But uh, if you sort of lose this, well then I suppose you could, in theory, just use an Arca Swiss plate as well if you wanted to. Um, but I haven't tried that to see if it actually works. Um, but the good part too now, this clip also will go into all of the Capture One uh, little holders that you can get and things like that, uh, that works really well. Okay, so to get this in, all you do then is just push it in, lift that down, and then it's locked in. But to make sure it's not going to come out and you can't hit this, that's where you lock this one at the bottom, uh, and that's how you get that level. Now to get the camera level, like I said, all you do is undo this bottom wheel here, and then you can move that around to anywhere that you'd like to go, and including um, portrait. But remember that you can't go past that, so you are limited to that point. It won't go any further than what you're looking at through there uh, as well. But that, that's really all that I'd need, so I'm happy with that personally. Um, but it's a really nice, simple system. Um, I love the way you can just lock everything off. The camera is rock solid in there that it's not going to move, uh, and I think that's a really, really good design. Um, I did do time lapses and things like that and it seemed to work really, really well. Um, so I'm not worried about the stability of the tripod uh, at all. And like I said, you've just got that wheel, that then I can move this to whatever position that you'd like to go. All right, so let's now look at how you use the phone holder um, for this. So you just take off the hook that's here uh, in the center uh, column here. And then this is the phone holder that you can use. And then all we do is we open up this uh, and then you stick it into this center part through here and that locks it in. Uh, and then you can lock that around so that this won't then open at all. Uh, and again, you can just move this around to how you wanted it to go. Um, and the phone itself um, is here. And then all you do is you just lift that up like that and then it's held into place. So this is a great feature for things if you wanted to do like time-lapse, video, uh, whatever you wanted to do, it, it works really nice. And you've still got that full control 
um, of being able to, you know, tilt it or however you wanted to do it and then lock it in as well. Uh, you know, you can even go sideways if you want to go that way. Uh, so it's a really nice feature. And to think that this is just all built into the tripod is great. Okay, to, so to sum up, what do I think about this tripod? Because it's not cheap, and that's one of the things that you've got to understand about this, but sometimes you do get quality that you pay for. It's carbon fiber, so it's a really nice uh, feeling tripod. Uh, it's great if you're using it in colder climates and things like that. The legs are outstanding the way the legs open and close. There's nothing that I've seen ever that, that works as quick as what this tripod uh, is. And also, if you close it up, it does take up the minimal amount of any tripod I've ever seen. So it was great just to stick in my travel bag or whatever, uh, and it didn't take up hardly any room compared to even the Mi Photo, which I've used before, which does take up much more room, even though that's a very small tripod. Pod. Overall stability has been as good as I'd expect it to be. I mean, I haven't had anything where I think it's there's been vibrations and I've been doing long exposures and things like that over uh, the last month. Um, I've been doing HDR shots. I've done long time exposures uh, when we were uh, at uh, Monument Valley and things like that. And there, didn't, there wasn't any issues at all with using the tripod. Um, the system is great. I love the operation of it all. Um, the way you've just got the two dials at the top is fantastic as well. Um, you've got the spirit level on the top. Uh, at the same time. I mean, it'll be interesting to see how this lasts over time. I mean, I've only had it for a month, so uh, I can't talk about that issue. This isn't mine, I've got to send this back. Um, so, but like everything else, uh, I'd always give you an honest uh, review. The thing you've got to, I suppose, um, justify is the cost because it is way more expensive than, say, using some of the other tripods out there. And I suppose only you can make that decision about whether you think it's worth it for your workflow. If you are constantly traveling, uh, and you're doing things like that, or you do want to work with very sort of quick run and gun type things where opening and closing the legs uh, like it does uh, makes a real difference on whether you get the shot or not. This probably is a really good buy. I mean, if you were just, say, an amateur photographer and you were struggling for funds, well, then maybe this is not the tripod for you. But I found it really, really good. Uh, I've loved using it over the last four weeks, and in fact, I really don't want to send it back, um, but I have to at this stage. Uh, apart from that, if you have any questions, uh, leave them all down below, uh, and I'll see you all soon for the next video. Bye for now.